Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be going over how you can lock your Microsoft Edge browser with a password. So let's get right into it. Microsoft Edge is Microsoft or Windows's integrated web browser, which you can use and which comes along with your system. And it has the option for you to add extensions, which is exactly what we will be doing or what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. Since there is no integrated feature in Edge to lock your pages or your browser with the uh, passwords, so you do need an extension. Thankfully, since Edge is based on Chromium, there is a lot of extensions which you can use. So just let's go over it and let me show you one extension which exists, which can help you lock your uh, browser. Now, uh, first and foremost, you want to go into the top right to the three dots, as you can see here, and go to extensions. Once you're here, just open Microsoft Edge add-ons and open the browser and search for browser lock. It is just called browser lock and it is made by Nirmal Twati. And once you get that, you can then proceed to actually uh, set a password. Uh, once you click on get, you will need to just confirm that you're adding that extension and it'll be added. And now uh, you will also see a pop-up asking to enter a password for unlocking the Edge browser and you can enter your browser's password and click OK. Uh, this is automatically pretty much done once you install this. And uh, the first thing that pops up should be this. Uh, now, once you save it, it will say password saved and you can prevent this page from creating additional dialogues if you would so choose. And you can unlock it uh, every time you relaunch the browser, you'll see the browser lock extension, which will prompt your password and you need to input it so that you can use it again. And that is pretty much all there is to it. You can reset it by going into the extension options and then just resetting the password or by when you forget it, you can just remove the uh, app or the extension and there's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be seeing you guys next time.